success. So we get to shoot our arrow wherever we want, and then we run over there and make that the bullseye, rather than realizing that, you know, there is an objective criteria for to find out what that target actually is and work toward it. But thank you for your call. <laughs> how are you? Hey, how are you doing, Rob? I'm doing really well, thank you. Good, good. it's nice to be back on Night Light. Oh, so, uh, hi to everybody listening tonight. I just wanted to mention about success. Yeah. Um, before, before, I, before I got to um, the spot where I'm at now in, in my journey, um, first off, success is not all about the material things that you got. Success, one famous singer said this recently, success is a man's worth. Mm. And I always say success is what we in life can do. And I agree with Ian. It's about the goals and the dreams that you can leave behind for a generation yeah. in, in this world. If you can make change, and do the best you can, then that's what success is. For me, yeah. my life will not be complete if I'm not helping somebody else and helping others. So yeah. it all goes back to being able to love and help. Adding value, really. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I've, I've, had, I've had a number of occasions to join you online um, before and also other hosts. And one thing that's been amazing for the callers who haven't heard me before and maybe just to refresh for a minute because I know I don't have much time. Um, I've overcome three kidney transplants. Is that right, hey? Yeah, yeah. And for me to face times in, in the operating room to be opened up so many times, not just from transplantation, but also uh, in, <laughs> under the knife so many times and being able to come through when things look dark and for God to shine his light down his hand yeah be able to heal me and bring me to do what I'm doing now being able to perform and and speak and being able to just proclaim that love that he's endued into me is so powerful that I'm able to be a survivor. And that, mm. for me, alone is success to yeah. be able to do his work. I hear you, yeah. Well, that, Over, pardon me? Go ahead, oh, I'm sorry. No, I was gonna say, that's inspiring. That's, uh, that's, that's great. Yeah, to overcome a serious illness. So uh, just to encourage the people listening, yeah. no matter what adversity you face in life, yeah. if you have a goal, if you have a dream, write it on paper. The word I've, I know says, write it plain on paper, so it's there. And whatever you believe in his name, it will come to pass. So it's like, um, it's like that, that you want to do to help somebody, whatever purpose is in your heart to do, do yeah. it. And I, I've noticed you said something about fame and fortune, right? Right. One thing we talk about, me and my... Um, producer, music producer, we talk about this, that uh, one thing, if you have worldly possessions, right, the house, the car, mm -hmm. the, 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 the clothes, the jewels, whatever, right? Right. As long as they don't control you or end up, uh, may, um, um, end up being, being um, what's that word I'm looking for? being part of you like uh, like a lot of times money gets the best of people the lack of or the if they have too much then right. happiness will never be unless you know god if you know god and you believe in god and you love god and god is in you mm -hmm. then you don't allow anything to control you and so it's okay to have those things but don't let it control you let god be your path. Let him show you the way in everything. Yeah, and there is certainly, um, I was just thinking as you were mentioning that, the, the encounter that Jesus had in Luke 18, 1818 18 and following. Yes. Where he was approached by, it says, a, a rich young ruler. 
Yep. And, uh, and the guy's asking him questions. You know, he's a really, he seems like a really good stand-up kind of guy. But in the final analysis, when Jesus identifies the core of his heart, and he says, one thing that you lack, I want you to sell everything that you have and follow me. And it said, then the young man went away saddened because there's no way that he was going to give up that stuff. <laughs> and I think that's pretty key right there is that it's, it's the connections of our heart and what we attach to things. Exactly. Because the things, as Jesus says, if we have treasure on earth, well, that can perish. Yes. That, um, that can just go to dust. It's what we invest really into eternity that will have value in the long term. And what, where's one's heart? Yeah. Well, the heart is huge because you're right. That's he says where your you where your treasure is. That's where your heart is. Because money. <laughs> yeah. Money is a means of exchange. Yeah, and say that money money to me in a sense is, it's neutral. It can yes. be used for good. It can be used yes. for evil. You exactly. can you can be its master or it can master you very easily. Exactly. <laughs> and I think that's part of it is is being aware of our heart. Yes. And realizing that you know a lot of times. We're, we are, we are self-deceptive. We're often not aware of the influence that it has in our lives. And, and that's where we really need to ask God graciously, Lord, will you out my heart? Will you, will you bring out what's in my heart and show me if I have attachments that are not right, that are inappropriate? And, uh, and it's certainly, I think you're right on as far as it's not, it's not the stuff that we accumulate that determines our value. It doesn't tell me about whether I'm successful. It has nothing to say about whether I'm successful or not. But if anything, I need to be careful lest it make me unsuccessful. And, uh, and you're right in saying that it doesn't automatically make us unsuccessful. It's a matter of our heart. It's a matter of, yes. of the connection well, that we have to Well, it. Rob, if I may, may I pray with everybody? <laughs> oh, sure. I say a prayer to all the callers listening and also to you. Okay. Um, one thing I, I noticed, being able to dance on stage and still be able to sing with a tube in my chest, mm. because I'm hooked up to dialysis to clean my blood three days a week, right? Wow, wow. Is a miracle in itself. That sure is. <laughs> because with a tube, it, it kind of have, makes one person sometimes breathing funny, right? Yeah. But you know what? There's nothing. I love, I love Philippians 4.13. <laughs> Through Christ, all things are possible. Well, you know, I think, uh, you know, re really, I think if you just sort of left it there, yep, yep. That, that would be great. We, we have um, a long, long list of callers. And, yeah, just. and I just wanted you to be able to unpack what you had to say, but I think we do need to, to move on. But I thank you so much for your call, and I think so much of what you said was right on. And just the scripture you shared at the end was just wonderful. So thank you. Thank you very much. Very inspiring, by the way. You know, just how somebody can overcome the adversity thrown her way and, um, and just rise up. Um, Rick from Waterdown, line four. Hey, Rick. So we're going to do the eight-second delay.